Did you like the uh, uh, Mahomes and Reed uh, winning that game? That oh, the Super Bowl? Game? I thought it was a great game. And I got to be honest, like, I really, uh, after that unreal run, it's, it, you know, I want my team to be good, good again. But it's also, in a way, is kind of nice to uh, take a few years off from the playoffs because you die a thousand deaths. Even if you don't make it to the Super Bowl, it's just like there's only one fan base that's going to end happy. And like to people that don't make the playoffs, you're disappointed, but then you get the excitement of watching the playoffs. Yeah. And you don't give a fuck because yeah. your team isn't in it. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to take that mental break because when your team makes the playoffs, you're like, like oh, pressure. You, oh, pressure. You die like like I, I like I literally hate how much I care. And like and how angry <laughs> I used to get. I just can't I and, you know, I got my my beautiful kids at home and I just can't do it anymore. So I can't. I have to like make sure that I don't care as much as uh, as I used to. So I've tried to get into other sports, but even then, like you know, I got into like racing, you know, for a little while. F1 and um, MotoGP, I, I love them. I'm going to go to a race this oh, year, wow. and I really get into rooting for teams. And, and it just started all over again. It's like, oh, that's the Tom Brady guy. That's that's the Peyton Manning guy. It just it all. Well, you're a fighter. Thing. You're 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 a competitive guy. And that's how you. That's how people become successful. You you're a fighter. You if you were just didn't care, you wouldn't have a career. You know what I mean? Yeah. What you are. Yeah, Your but I, I should shut it off every once in a while. Well, when I'm watching motorcycles go around a track, I shouldn't be watching like I'm watching the Patriots versus the Colts. <laughs> like you're on the, the motorcycle. Well, I started, I always, and I always root for the underdog. Oh. So I would root for Davizioso against Mark Marquez, and then I would root for uh, the Red Bull team against the great, great, obviously the greatest driver ever, Lewis Hamilton. So I was always, it just felt cheesy to me to get into a sport and immediately be rooting for the guy that always wins. You know, I like the best guy. Like, so that's how I became an LSU fan because Alabama was always oh, winning. Yeah. So I couldn't just be like, and I loved Alabama with Bear, Bear Bryant when I was a kid, but I didn't watch college football for a while. And I was just like, so what am I, I'm just going to fucking root for root these for the, guys. They're you know, win every time. Yeah. 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 That's like people over in Europe. They like default pick like, the, the Yankees and Lakers because of their success. And over here, we just go, oh, I'm a Man United fan because they used to win all the time. Yeah. And it was, it was um, I don't know, you know boring just, to me. Did you see that uh, Netflix special on uh, Michael Jordan? Yeah. I had no, you know what? I knew they were tough, but I didn't realize how mean Detroit was. I mean, Detroit. Well, that's, would... a, that's one way of putting them. <laughs> Dirty was another. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> but the coach would say, basically, you know, fuck them up. They basically played 1970s Raider football yeah. on the basketball court. Yeah, you would leave your feet and uh, you had to know where Lambeer was. Like Mahorn, well, I didn't feel was dirty. Rodman. I, Ma, Ma, but Rodman, Rodman was a genius. Rodman was, Rodman frustrated you. Mahorn was just a tough motherfucker yeah. and Lambeer was dirty. Yeah. Lambeer would wait yeah. for you to leave the table and he would just take you out. But like... All these years later, I don't hate Lamp Beer anymore. He's like funny because like they, you know, they always bring up that moment when they didn't shake the bull's hands. Oh, yeah. And they walked off. Yeah. And they asked yeah. Lamp Beer, <laughs> they said, do you, does that bother you that you didn't? He was like, no, fuck those guys. He goes, when we were winning it, they said we weren't champions. Fuck them. And I was just <laughs> like, I 100% respect that. Yeah. And he also, Lamp Beer had this shot at the top of the key, man. And it was, it, it was, if he took it, it was going in. If yeah. he got to his spot, yeah. it was, and he just had his hands would go up and he yeah. flicked his wrist and the fucking it, thing went in 90%. It was like he was taking a foul shot, even if you were guarding him. And he, uh, you know, so he had, you know, yeah. as dirty as he was. He could back he could it play. up. He, he could play. He could play. Well, you know, that was the thing I also, you know, I was thought, oh, Isaiah, Isaiah Thomas, nice, smiley, nice, good looking guy. He was a mean son of a gun too, man. Yeah. If you on that team, I like all of those guys now. John Sally, I love yeah. all of those guys. Uh, Joe Dumars, and then like before, we even got back into it with the Lakers again. We had those that great rivalry with those early '80s Sixers, yeah. and I hated them. Yeah, I hated them. And now I go back. One of my favorite teams of all time is the 1983 Philadelphia 76ers. Who, if in, my, in a perfect world, yeah, I'd put them up against the '96 Bulls, or I'd say the maybe '87 or '85 Lakers. 86 Celtics and just really try to like yes. if you could do that to see who would be the uh who would be the best 